guys welcome back to another vlog it's your girl shaylin if you are new to my channel hey girl i make a fashion and lifestyle related content so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell and all that good stuff okay but today is a very special day today is a very special day it is 5 11 so it's my b-day y'all i returned to the office today um just for a day i'm working one day a week so i did go in the office on my birthday but it's cool you know the the office was fun it's you digging in sir sir is it your b-day or is it my b-day so i just got home from work um we got some crabs for my birthday because if you guys don't know crabs is my favorite food this was like my only request for my birthday i did not want to go out to eat I specifically wanted crabs and I wanted to eat them at home because my mom makes this bomb sauce for the crabs. And to me, the crabs just don't hit the same without the sauce. But yeah, y'all, I'm super tan. I don't know if y'all can tell. Like, look at my, look at the tan line, period. You can't really see it on camera, but besides the point. Um, But yeah, Eric got me a gift. I'm excited to see what's in here. If you guys watch my vacation vlog, you know he already got me something. So I'm like trying to figure out what this is and then i got my mom a mother's day gift which i'm gonna have her open look at these flowers you guys cake sent me these beautiful flowers she knows how to make a girl feel special get you a cake okay period get you a cake you can't have them you can't have mine though. okay you can't have my cake but you can get you a cake we are about to eat i'm starving so we're gonna eat some crabs enjoy the vibes and i'll check in with you guys a little bit later hey hey Niggas ain't got respect. Niggas just got it stuck. I put that top left. I love my cardi to death. I bring us no X. If you don't say it direct, give a fuck. This is what I think it is. Yo. saw me getting my hair dyed and all that jazz and y'all probably like girl why your hair look like this see what had happened was <laughs> me and my mom like so basically i did her hair she did mine so my mom needed to get braids today so i put color in her hair and blow dried her hair and then she put color in my hair and she was gonna straighten my hair but it just got to be too late y'all i was so hungry and i'm just like girl we live together like you can just do my hair tomorrow. So now I look like this. So basically my hair is just blow dried in a little bun. I put a little headband on girl trying to, trying to make it look better than what it looked like because it looked crazy. Um, but I'm excited to see my color once it's actually like, you know, straightened. And it's actually really gloomy outside today. So I feel like today really wouldn't have been like a beneficial hair straightening day. So not too, too concerned about it so yeah we are on the way to get our lashes oh get our lashes done so yeah we're gonna do that i hate coming out in public with my hair blow dry like even when i gotta blow dry my hair like for braids i just feel like my hair looks so crazy when it's blow dried so i'm not feeling that vibe but but you know girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do so i'm gonna look put together and i'm gonna look cute later you know what i'm saying because then my hair gonna be done my nail i mean my lashes gonna be done i need to do something about these nails y'all i actually am gonna try press on so i'm waiting for them i ordered um a style from amazon but i kind of want my nails done for tomorrow because we're gonna be having a content day so i'm like oh it'd be nice oh wait i need to stay in this lane 
it'd be nice to have my nails done you know for tomorrow because they're like really really grown now i think i'm gonna take like a month off from getting acrylics and just like wear press on but yeah y'all so we're gonna go get our lashes done so i'll see y'all when we get there and i'm so excited because i get to see cecily my lash tech i haven't seen her in a minute and so i am excited to see her um so yeah i'll see you guys once we get there all right y'all lashes are done i didn't bring y'all in there with me um because girl how many times y'all gonna see me get my lashes done like well not see me get my lash but y'all know where i go i will like at this point i'm gonna just keep it linked in the description box because y'all always ask me where i go to get my lashes done um but yeah and i just wanted to talk to like sess like i'm the type of person like the people who do my nails do my hair do my lashes they're my friends they're my family like so i be needing to know like what's see with them what's up with them i never thought i would see the day where i'd be on youtube in a bonnet okay but maybe i'm giving y'all real life real life realness so basically my hair is wrapped under this and i do not plan on taking this down until it's time to get ready so <laughs> um what was i gonna tell so basically last night i did not talk to y'all again i attempted press-ons i didn't really want to show y'all because i feel like up close like far away it's giving full set up close is giving very much press on like i need to work on my technique but for now they will do also y'all the glue this glue bomb okay like this glue has these nails sticking so we're gonna try these for a month i am gonna pick up obviously like different styles different colors or whatever but my ulta didn't really have much of a selection i did order a pack on amazon but i want to see like how i vibed with the press-ons before i started ordering like a bunch of different you know styles and stuff but i like that these are just like plain neutral my vibe i did do a little shopping yesterday i went to ulta i got me some press-ons got me some glue some acetone to soak it off um but i did also pick up let me get out of bed girl let's time to get up get out of bed sis um, also i did re-up on my favorite spf i love this spf you guys i had the big bottle like this before and i ran out and i told myself like moving forward i'm only getting the big bottle because i use this every day and i use a good amount of it so repick this up from ulta and then i went to the container store and i bought another jewelry organizer because i ran out of space on the ones that i already have i need to expand and get an additional one so i did and then i popped in zara i picked up this little corset top haven't tried it on can't tell you what i think about it this little red corset top super cute it's like an orangey red i just love their corset top so i was like oh i love that this one has like a little texture i don't know if y'all can tell but it has kind of like a little texture like a tweed texture to it and then girl the thing i was most excited for these heels i have been wanting like some gold slash like metallic kind of pumps i feel like these are more on the gold side but honestly they're such like a faint gold that i feel like they could pass for gold or silver your girl slid into aritzia because i needed a dress so i picked up this little slip dress from aritzia i love the color of this dress it's just very simple and on me it looks a lot better because baby you know i got curves i got body so it just looks super cute and i feel like this slip dress would look good not only with heels but also like dressed up i mean dressed down with like some sneakers or something like that so love this dress hey y'all so it's many 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 days later y'all i'm so sorry i'll be forgetting to update y'all i didn't even show y'all how my hair looked when i got it done um but i did film a cute little you know real video or whatever so i'll post it on screen i am on my way to take my little sister to a quince earlier i had to do some filming that's the only reason y'all i have on makeup right now because I definitely was not planning on wearing makeup, but um, I have to do my big sister duties and take my little sister to a quince. So that is where we are headed. I'm gonna bring y'all along with me. I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring my camera. This is the look, a little claw clip pinup moment. Dress is from Aritzia. I do have on these little sandals. It's not giving heels, cause baby, it's a quince. 
I'm trying to look as old as possible, okay? So I did my little claw clip up. It's giving 27, you know what I'm saying? And then I have on my little modest slip dress and my little sandals. And then I have my Cult Gaia bag. I think this looks super cute though. I was just telling Eric this would actually look really, really cute with my Vejas that I just purchased. So I absolutely really love this slip dress from Aritzia, which is in my Aritzia haul. I will link that for you guys in case you guys missed it. But yeah, so we're gonna head out because we are running late and I know Alexis is gonna be blowing up my phone. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hi, Kobe Kins. Look, say hi. You did? Say hi. Oh, you posing for the camera. Sit still, let me see. Say cheese. Kobe. Say cheese, boy. <laughs> Look at his little Papa. face. Hi, Papa. <laughs> Hold on. Kayla said, am I vlogging? <laughs> I wish they had a mirror over here. Okay, y'all, so I am at my cousin Kayla's house. Her apartment is super cute, so I wanna take pictures of your girl. She don't wanna be on camera, but I don't care. So she's about, to help me take, she's about to help me take my pictures. So I'm thinking like right here, her and her boyfriend, Robert. Well, she can't really take my pictures, but because yeah, I, like I feel like it took us a really long time to take the pictures. But yeah, Robert's on the lens. So if my pictures don't make it to Instagram, it's because yeah. he don't know how to take pictures either. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, y'all. So I'm gonna let y'all watch me and we gonna get started. I Put it on, screw it, put it on, screw it, 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 Plugs Instagram. Oh, what's his Instagram? What's your shout out to my photographer? <laughs> shout out to my photographer. It's, uh, R A M B R X S E. Okay, period. Yeah, he he got a girlfriend, so don't be in there because I will fight you. Okay, period. All right. I'll show you the resume. Well, let me see. I used to take pictures of my friends and shit. Oh dang! You edit you edit them too. Mm -hmm. Dang. This is like a little film camera. Oh, cool. Yeah, I can tell by just even looking at your feed, it's very, it gives me photographer. Yeah, I never <laughs> post though, so it's like... Oh, what's your last post? Uh, 2021. <laughs> hey, December, December. December 2021. <laughs> And that's a wrap. All right, y'all. I will see y'all later, probably when I get to Eric's house. But yeah, thank you, Robert. Don't forget to follow Robert, y'all. And he's available if you need him to take your pictures for the right price. <laughs> All right, y'all. Bye. Y'all, Eric over here making concoctions and he put, what did you put in there? He put, uh, he made a smoothie, he put fresh kiwi, fresh ginger, <laughs> frozen mangoes, low fat strawberry yogurt, almond milk with a hint of honey. Am I missing anything? Granola. Well, what else did you put in there? You got the ginger. Yeah, and protein powder. You got the lime. Oh, and a lime. Ew, that's weird. And a pro and protein powder. What flavor is the protein powder? Strawberry. No flavor. No flavor. Yeah, y'all. So Eric's stomach is about to be bubbling, and he drinking it like it's good. Nasty smoothie. It don't even look right. Look at the color. Let me see. Eric, <laughs> that tastes like a straight 
like ginger. Yes, it does. I'm sorry, y'all. I feel like ginger in anything like overpowers it, and all I can taste is the ginger. But yeah, so me and Eric are gonna chill. I got some ice cream. I already ate a little bit of it, but we are gonna chill. The game is about to come on, so he will not be paying attention to me pretty soon. I made me a little fake cocktail. Oh, it's actually good. This actually goes really nice with the... I, told you. I feel like I might have put a little too much liquor. I got ice cream from Brewster's after a hard day's work. I feel like I deserved it because I did content yesterday, woke up, did more content today. Girl, I don't even think about content until Tuesday because that's when I need to film another video for y'all. But I just realized this music is playing. I'm not trying to get copyrighted. So I will talk to y'all later. So for being tame, they'd rather be wild Bitches is bendy, they wanna be down Soon as these bitches got something to sell They say my name, say my name, Destiny Chow Everybody wanna be lit Everybody wanna be rich Everybody wanna be this If plus you, I'll hate me, bitch Read my positive, suck my girl that token I'm calling it out Calling companions from private accounts Do not a check, think you got a bow I got the drip, come get it now They do anything for clout Do anything for clout Bitches is mad, bitches is trash I got the drought See me win, they gotta hurt Hey y'all, so I was just sitting in my car eating my Jenny's ice cream. Um, I was like, girl, you have not talked to the vlog in a minute. So I thought I would like check in with y'all, see what y'all are doing. <laughs> I'm saying that like y'all can respond like, hey girl, what you doing, nothing. But I decided I'm going to start eating better tomorrow. How many times have I said that? A lot. How many times have I had to say it? How many times have I fallen through and like actually ate better? A lot. So, mm, I have faith in myself. I've just been eating so poorly lately and I feel like I'm definitely a stress eater when I'm like stressed I eat a lot <laughs> so yeah if you guys are in the DMV area please try Jenny's try the gooey butter cake baby is busting okay I just wanted to have like a real influencer moment influencer rant um talk to y'all about my experiences as like a small content creator um I get like a lot of dms from you guys and like messages you know asking me like as a small content creator how are you able to work with this brand how are you able to work with that brand how are you able to work with this brand and let me just say first and foremost the number one thing is literally a lot hold on Sorry, y'all. So, there was, like, people in the car next to me. And I just feel like it's so weird to, like, have the camera. But, like I was saying, a lot of people ask me how, as a small influencer, I'm able to work with, you know, bigger and more well-known brands. Number one, y'all, is hard work. Like, um, the number one band brand I get questioned about is Skims and Honestly, you guys, the reason Skims works with me is because I targeted Skims. So basically what I mean by that, if there are brands that you love, genuinely purchase with your own coin and money, all you have to do is just promote and tag that brand. Now Instagram has a new feature that every time you tag a brand, it actually sends them a DM of what ever you're tagging them in which is so helpful because a lot of brands do check their dms so if they're going through their dms maybe they might have missed your post but they're able to see your post in their dms but literally you guys i post tons of skims videos um i post tons of skims tiktoks i post tons of pictures on my ig with skims so when a company keeps seeing you promote a brand 
Well, when a company keeps seeing you promote a brand in your audience organically enjoying it, they're of course want they of course want you to post their brand more. So that leaves room for opportunities such as like you know sponsorships giftings pr and things like that and even for me i have not had a skim sponsorship i have gotten skims pr skims giftings and things like that which i'm 100 percent appreciative of but my goal is 100 percent to get a skims um sponsorship so when people ask me like for advice there's really no advice it's just like you have to work hard and target these brands. Like if there's a brand that you want to work with, you have to buy that brand's product and post it on your platform. Yes, sometimes brands reach out to you that you may have never tried or never used, but me personally, my preference with my sponsorships and stuff like that, I like to use brands that I already love and enjoy because a lot of brands will come to you with like sponsorships and they want you to talk about a product like that or talk about an item like that and you don't even have time to experience it see what the wear and tear is like and things like that so i'm very weary about that i don't know if you guys have noticed on my channel i don't take a lot of sponsorships if i do it's typically the same sponsorships because i'm comfortable with those brands but i always knew from the beginning that i did not want to be that type of person that was just doing a bunch of sponsorships and ads and things like that for money like you know what i mean like at the end of the day i still work my nine to five and youtube is not my only source of income and things like that um but i never want to be in the position where i have to compromise my integrity for a check so me personally i like working with brands that i already use and love brands that i know their return policy i know how their clothes like hold up and things like that um i do get reached out to by quite a few brands and i do not work with them um so yeah, and I think a lot of people think because a lot of people think that when it comes to sponsorships and getting paid from brands and getting promo and stuff like that, it comes down to the number. It they don't like I'm learning that brands don't care about the number anymore. I think a lot of brands are realizing that um just because you have a large following doesn't mean like that's going to translate well. So someone could have a million subscribers, but if I'm posting on my page that's about pranks and jokes and only little kids watch it and I'm trying to sell an adult toy, that don't work. It don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? So um, I just feel like I've built a community. Like y'all are my family and it's like I'm not going to put y'all onto nothing that I wouldn't put my friends onto or my family onto. And um, so yeah, I turn down a lot of brand deals, believe it or not. Um, I also know my value as a small content creator, which is why I also don't work with a lot of brands. Some brands, baby, will try to play you because of your following, okay? And at the end of the day, um, we have to remember as small content creators that it's not just about your numbers, right? This is content that brands can use over like you know what i mean brands can use this as commercials or they can boost it as ads and things like that and this is content that will live on for months for example if i post a youtube video this year people are still going to be viewing that in the next two to three years so you're still getting recognition to your company and all that and i've been got paid you know what i'm saying so i think as content creators we need to no matter how big your audience is, you need to figure out what, like, what's worth your time. You know what I mean? And for me personally, when I'm doing content, it takes a lot of time for me personally. Like, I edit my own content. I am usually taking my own content. Now I have friends that help me, and I do have family that's willing to help me as well. But when it comes down to it, you are literally all of the moving parts of your business, right? You are the admin, you are the accountant, you are you are the talent, okay? You are the editor, you are the videographer, photographer, you're all of the above. And all of those things are a lot of work. And I think us as content creators, we're supposed to make it look so easy, so effortless, right? But in reality, you don't know that it took me like like 2,000 pictures to get that one picture you saw. You know what I mean? So my battery's about to die. But I just had to drop some real knowledge on y'all because I get so many comments about it. And I just want small content creators not to feel discouraged because at the end of the day, we add value. At the end of the day, we usually typically have the strongest community and the highest engagement. Um, so yeah, don't let these companies play you, baby. Don't be afraid to say no, because it's funny. Because baby, sometimes I'll tell a company, yeah, no, I'm sorry. 
Like, no. And then they turn around and be like, oh, actually, we can do your rate. So, girl, put your rate out there. I always recommend going higher than what you actually want. That way, if the brand negotiates down, you know what I mean, that type of thing. But, yeah, small content creators, please stop stop selling us short okay baby we bring just as much to the table we put in just as much work if not more because we are trying to build and grow an audience so yeah y'all i just had to say that because girl my ice cream mountain all right i'm done talking because girl this ice cream too expensive to melt hey y'all so it is many many days later as you guys can see the curls are out i washed my hair um a because it's just like a little too hot outside to be wearing my hair straight and curly hair is just so much like i don't have to worry about the rain i don't have to worry about the humidity curls are looking so cute i love my curls especially now that my hair is like freshly dyed but yeah y'all so i just got dressed i threw something on really really quickly i'm gonna show you all my outfit before we leave but i just want to tell you guys we are headed to my cousin's pop-up shop so my cousin um sells sunglasses so i'm excited to see her pop-up shop um yeah i'm gonna bring you guys along with me show you guys the sunglasses and stuff like that but let me show y'all what i am wearing um it's super simple i didn't put on girls a little dark hold on sis hold on um i didn't put on any makeup i just put on lip gloss because girl it's too hot outside and also i think i'm gonna come back and film um a couple of videos so i didn't want to put on makeup i need to tell you guys about this new bomb curly hair product if you are loving my curls girl stay tuned like do y'all see this is like day four hair i literally just like wet my hair um and tapped the product a little bit on the places that were like a little bit frizzy um but i love this product i'm gonna be doing like a get ready with me and i'm gonna show you guys like my curly hair routine so stay tuned for that but let me show y'all my little outfit. A super cute, super simple. I went with my go-to little Target two-piece linen set. Don't mind the clothes on my bed. I have to fold those. That is some laundry, clean laundry. Um, but yeah, so we're wearing our curls out. I have on this layered necklace. So basically, you guys, I have all of these necklaces on one chain this is literally the most genius thing ever invented i got it off of amazon i will link it down below if you are someone who loves like stacking your necklace it oh girl it came undone but let me show y'all because that's like a sign so i don't know if you guys can well you guys can see so as you guys can see all of the necklaces are attached to this one chain so basically you hook them individually and then this little clasp is magnetic so it makes it super easy to put on like a layered necklace on your own if you are someone who has long nails this is literally a lifesaver you can have someone hook the necklaces on for you and you're able to clasp it on and off as you'd like this necklace is from Stella and Haas. This necklace is from Nixie Studios. And this necklace is from Anna Luisa. I just took like the little charm off that came with it. But yeah, that's pretty much how the necklace thing works from Amazon. I 100% recommend if you are a layering girl to pick this up. It is amazing. So like I was saying, those are my necklaces. Earrings are from Stella and Haas as well. And this little cute linen two-piece set is from Target. Super cute, super simple. I think it's like 85 outside. So I definitely wanted to wear something more breezy, more airy. I definitely want to pick up a pair of like linen pants because I don't know if you guys can tell, my legs are a little prickly. So I definitely want linen pants for like those days where I don't want to have the legs out. Then I'm wearing it with these literally $13 H&M slides. I'm going to wear this perfume that I picked up recently. It is the Delina Exclusive. I hope that's how you say it. Um, but it's this beautiful bottle right here, you guys. It is the most amazing scent. This is a very very pricey perfume but it smells so good it has like a sort of like powdery scent um very good for like every day definitely feels smells like very grown very sophisticated i just absolutely love it and i'm not gonna lie y'all when i first saw the girls posting this perfume bottle i wasn't even slightly interested because the bottle just gave me grandma and i was like oh my god this bottle looks very old lady-ish so i'm just like i know that's old lady scent but i smelt this on tia every time like this is literally tia's signature scent like ugh. and she just like really turned me on to it and i'm just like obsessed with it now i cannot stop wearing it um but yeah 100 percent worth the splurge it just smells so good and i really feel like there's nothing that smells quite like it um but yeah so i'm just kind of sprucing 
up my hair my hair like i said is a little wet so i'm sure it is going to shrink up a bit on me but like i said this is like day four hair so it is a little bit more stretched out um but yeah y'all let's go ahead and head out because i'm already pretty late okay let's go 2 30 baby won't you meet me by the beam Too early baby later you could show me things you know what it is whenever i visit windy city get up your feet no 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 30 degrees way to go so hold me tight will i see you at the show tonight See you at the show tonight. Hey, truck to the plane, to the truck, truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages, presidential suite on deposit, elevator up to the room, shower up, and then we hit the club. Touchdown, gotta see what's up. Area code in my phone. What numbers do I still have? Who do I know from the past? Hit one, she say she got a man. Hit another one, it goes green. Must have changed foes on the team. Remember when you let me in between? That was 2017. All good, chug a look around. Find one. All right, y'all. So it is the next day. Um, so yeah, right now I woke up not too long ago. Well, that's a lie. I woke up a while ago. But I am about to head to my friend Shamika's house and me, her, and Amber are having a little brunch at her house. She's cooking brunch, so I'm super excited because maybe I like to eat, okay? Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and head over there. And then y'all, I've started to take my press-ons off, like basically you just soak it in warm water and then it like kind of pops off but i didn't have time to finish so i'm basically missing a few nails but when we come back later i'm definitely going to do a new set so if you guys want to see how i do my press on stay a tune and yes the pile of laundry moved from my bed to over there because i still have not attended to it yet but i will when i get back later but um i just want to show you guys my little my little brunch outfits like no it's super casual y'all it's just us so this tank is from princess polly shorts are from where are they from talentless and then i'm just wearing my easy slides and then i'm gonna wear my same uh telfar that i had on yesterday so nothing crazy just you know cute comfy you know me i like to be very cash I'll probably throw on my new sunglasses. Oh my god, I didn't even show you guys my new sunglasses. Hold on, let me go grab them. So these are my new bays. They are so freaking cute, y'all. They remind me of those Loue, Loue Vey. I don't know how to say it. Sunglasses. They are in like this a tortoise print. Um, I did pick these up from the pop-up shop. Unfortunately, my cousin isn't selling these um on a line. But if you guys are interested, just DM me and I will send you her away but these are so cute i'm obsessed with them i actually told her please let me know if they have any other colors because i need i just love the way these look on my face and honestly now that i have these i kind of want a real pair because i'm like these look really good on my face i like absolutely love the way they look so yeah let's go ahead and head out because girl we already late we always late per usual so let's go to shmikas <laughs> Leave me out the comments, leave me out the nonsense, speaking out of context, people need some content, niggas trying to keep up, shit is not a contest, whipping best concept, heaven sent, God sent, at least it's what my mom says, proof is in the progress, money's not an object, busy than a motherfucker, you know how my job get, parking up the wrong tree, you know how the dogs get, haven't fallen off yet, come with a classic, they come around years later and say it's a sleeper, the ears are real, the petty is real, I just write it for a feature, deposit the money, the friend of Leticia, a lender Felicia, she gave for me twice, I didn't even know her once, you know I'm a pleaser, 42 millimeter, was made in Geneva, yeah, I probably should go to Yeshiva, we went to Ibiza, yeah, I probably should pull it with Yeezy, I knew me some Jesus, as soon as I started confessing my sins, he wouldn't believe us, sins, I got sins on my mind and some M's, got a lot of M's on my mind and my friends, yeah, I keep my friends on my mind, I'm in love, I'm in love with two girls, I want to see them in they tens, that's why I got ten on my mind, I got M's, got a lot of M's on my mind and my friends, yeah, I keep my friends on my mind, so repent, I need me some Jesus. 
peace in my life. Amen. I'm from the folk, but I love me a douche. He up my daddy, this shit my little secret. Tryna ditch me, do it by keep it. I can't respond, but just do it, you keep it. I love some rats on the bed, you can keep it. This shit getting deep, getting deep. I dig it, my chef, I'm on being out. I'm gonna go ahead and fix it. A shark in the water, you swimming with a little bit. I hit the day by tomorrow, she miss it. I grab a niche, she look good, then I kiss it. I'm not a goat, but I feed it. This shit. know the last time I talked to y'all y'all this vlog is all over the place excuse me okay I'm just getting back into vlogging so let your girl slide a little bit just a little bit just a little, 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 little bit um so right now I'm about to shoot content I know you guys like seeing like the behind the scenes um and influencer content so I just did my makeup we did my normal light beat I'm going to do an updated um get ready with me i'm gonna show you guys how i do my curly hair routine along with like my makeup and stuff so stay tuned for that girl there's something on my camera lens is that just a crack oh my no i'm gonna have to look at that later anyways so we are about to film some content i'm actually about to film an aritzia styling video so i posted an aritzia haul and i wanted to do an outfit like idea showing you guys kind of how i would style the items because y'all seem to really enjoy when i do that so i'm doing about to sit down and film that i've done my makeup i've prepped the outfits again if you guys did not watch my pack with me video i am super big on planning outfits in canva so these are the outfits and looks that i have planned to show you guys for the aritzia haul if you you are not planning your outfits in canva girl what are you doing this is like literally the easiest simple thing content creators 100 recommend doing this if you are like a fashion girl um that way you can kind of see like exactly what you need and i'm also going to use this while i am talking and going through the video so my idea for this video is to do like a sit down type of video so i'm going to be sitting down talking about the outfits and then i will actually do the try on portions where i show the outfits um i'm able to do this this way because I pre-planned the outfits so I already know what the outfits look like what I'm going to be wearing in the outfits and things like that I would film two videos today usually I try to film two videos anytime I sit down to a film but I'm not going to do that because I really want to get this video up by today so I'm going to try to film this video as quickly as possible and then I'm going to do some editing and try to get it up it should be fairly quick to edit since it's just like outfits and stuff like that if you guys are wondering about any equipment that I use to film all of it is linked in my Amazon storefront which I will have linked in the description box down below but yeah I just did my hair in this little claw clip I have been wearing my hair down oh girl did I just break why did I just break it oh my god Good thing these are cheap, okay? I did my hair in this little claw clip because I really don't have time for my hair not to be acting right. So a claw clip is just super easy. I don't have to worry about my like hair not laying right and me not liking the footage. So yeah, we're gonna get into it. I made sure everything is a fill, everything is prepped, set up, and ready to go. So baby, let's get to this filming. Okay, babe, so let's go ahead and get into the next outfit, which is a little bit more dressier. Give a fuck about a nigga. Big Birkin bag, whole five, six figures. Stripes on my ass, so we call it pussy tigger. 
fucking on the scamming ass, rich ass nigga. Same group of bitches, they no add to the picture. Drop a couple of rice, watch his ass get thicker. Tricking on licking, I'm licking at your nigga. If it's money right, he can eat it like a sticker. I ain't got time for the fake ass hoes. Talking all night. Filming is a wrap. Anytime the chair is on the bed, baby, it was a great filming sesh. Um, so yeah, I was able to finish filming the video. It is a bit too late i just realized by the time i edit this video get it uploaded into youtube it's probably gonna be like eight o'clock so i'd rather just post on thursday which is my normal upload day um and just skip today um and then i'm gonna post on my community tab let people know who haven't watched my last video that that video is posted i do want to get a lot more active on my community tab i think a community tab is very helpful because people who have their notifications on say they missed your video if you post on there youtube will notify them and they will see what you're posting on there so i want to start using my community tab more frequently i don't want to do it all the time because i don't want to annoy people and then they turn off their notifications but i want to do it enough like maybe like you know two to three times a week is more than enough i'm gonna keep on this skims tank which was a part of one of the outfits but between me y'all i might be coming on my period soon well i should be otherwise i have bigger fish to fry so i want to go ahead and put on like a different bottom so that way i can wear a pad are you guys pad or tampon girls i just want to know i personally will wear both but my preference is 100 percent a pad like and i know the tampon girl is gonna come for me talking about some ill sis it's giving diaper but y'all shoving stuff up there okay you know like what is that giving i can't say it on youtube because i'm getting monetized but y'all know what i'm trying to say you know what i'm saying so yeah i'm gonna change my bottoms real quick and then i'll be right back so i changed my clothes went for a t-shirt i'm gonna clean up when i get back um because i need to run to the mall really quickly um i need to go in aritzia i really need to do a return they are currently having their clientele sale and um i just decided that majority of the items i bought prior to the sale i'm just gonna keep but there are a few that i plan on returning um the leggings because of the issue and then the bodysuit and this other top that i just didn't want i'm gonna go ahead and return those but i was saying i'm gonna go ahead and return these in store because i want to be able to use the credit to shop the sale so i want to go ahead and get that done so that i can use the credit towards the sale before all of the items that i want so if you guys like aritzia stay tuned because there's going to be a lot more aritzia content coming um but yeah so we are going to head to tyson's i'm going to tyson's oh my god i haven't even showed you guys so this is like my goyard tote you know this tote y'all i'm so disappointed in how i've taken care of it like i spilt a green juice in here and it ruined the inside of this bag like the bottom is ruined but anyways i just felt like when i had this bag everything was thrown in it so i went on amazon and i saw this girl on tiktok they have bag organizers so it took me like three tries to find one that i felt like fit perfect and i actually love it because it gives the bag structure as well but i love how everything is like compartmentalized go in here there's stuff and just everything's organized and like easily like visible to me and i can like easily find what i need so i absolutely love that so yeah 100 percent recommend these if you have a tote but anyways y'all we don't got time to chat about that we gotta go okay so i'm gonna see y'all once we get to the mall Check in with you I know that I need my 